All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Office. And I want to tell you about an experience I had this last weekend shooting down at the American Defense Tar Heel Challenge. Now, this, I will tell you from the bottom of my heart, this had to be the most challenging three gun event I've ever done. In most cases, you have like a single bay, and then you run the bay, and then you've got a long distance out to the two or three hundred yards. No, no, no. This was nine stages. And I think of the nine stages, maybe two or three had targets that were inside 450 yards the majority of them they were 450 500 almost out to 650 yards or whatever the case may be uh, but in any case uh, it was very challenging the some of the stages were over 100 yards long you had to run the whole damn thing which you know in my case <laughs> not exactly the most healthy person when it comes to running <laughs> which leads me to say that well when memorial three gun comes around this this time uh, we know what we have to do and we know what work we have to do to get it done. So on top of that, uh, being one of the greatest, I guess, three gun events I've ever done, big kudos out to the guys out there, Donnie Flo, Mike Sexton, uh, Don Bryson, uh, kudos also to the uh, Lawing family. You guys kicked ass and take names as usual. Uh, a couple other cool shots out there. And also big thanks to all the guys that were on our squad. Huge group of people. We had literally 15 people on our one squad. And it, we had four stages on Saturday, uh, Friday, four stages on Saturday, and one on Sunday. And it took about an hour and a half to two hours to shoot a single stage with that number of people. Nice thing is a lot of people are reset. Um, also, I'd like to give a big shout out to uh, Rick Is Your Six Cover and X-Ring. And then a big, huge one, uh, John K. Uh, this was his very first three-gun event, and the guy had enough balls to come out here on a major and kick it in the ass. He really did a great job. Um, Is Your Six Covered has a lot of uh, video on his channel talking about John K and his first event. So if you're interested in seeing what it's like to shoot a three-gun event for the first time in your life, Sorry, we're uh, babysitting a bunch of kids today. Uh, you know what? Uh, get on over to Is Your Six Covers channel. I'll put the link down below. Also, he has a video of me doing a single stage. Not my proudest moment, but uh, I did finish the stage, finished it strong. The cool thing about it, when we started doing the, the three-gun events, um, we'd shot down at the Clinton House Plantation. Uh, X-Ring was our range officer, and it was interesting because he coached me through my first three gun event so did rick um and then along with that we had pops quest was down there and it was always a neck and neck thing always and i mean at first it was pops and i would just be here and here and here and here and here i mean literally one place apart um at the memorial three gun rick kicked my butt is your six covered and this time around well uh we had tech ops 78 shooters no pardon me uh let's see here hold on that's overall um stand by i think we had and i'm not you know i'm saying that this was not the greatest event we had but considering the the shooters that were there we had a marine corps team was down there all, a lot of pro shooters uh i came in uh 27th place and uh rick is your six covered came in at uh 28th place so it was really cool because my first day was horrible, but my second day was really good. As a matter of fact, for the long stage, if you remember the video I did with using the primary arms platinum scope, took it out to the range, see how well it matched up with the uh, 77 grain load that I developed. Uh, we were nailing the hell out of a 500 yard target. Well, uh, they were sending us all the way, a uh, 600 yard target, and they were sending us all the way out to 600 yards. And I completed that stage without any problems. I think the biggest issue for me was shooting in like a weird position or, you know, we had to shoot from a tank trap. We had to shoot from the top of a tower uh, from the landing or the steps and up to the tower, the ladder. Then we had to shoot out the back of a Dazuzu Trooper 2. Uh, shooting out of a bus, uh, just all kinds of crazy stuff. But in, in the long uh, short of it, we had an absolute amazing time. And uh, I tell you what, it, it just, it was one of those things that was a real eye opener for me to know that uh, there was this one stage that literally by the time I was done, I was huffing and puffing, baby, let me tell you. But uh, the Platinum Scope, if you can see that, it's right behind me. Um, that guy performed like a champ. The glass on that thing is absolutely impeccable. I'm going to be doing reviews on these things tabletop because I can't get out to the range, but it's kind of cool. Uh, that guy right there is bad to the bone. Now, what I'm planning on doing is probably 
developing a new rifle specifically for Memorial 3 gun in which we'll probably hopefully get the Platinum uh, 1 to 8 first focal plane in the yardage version. That way it's a little bit more easy to set up in my opinion. Uh, but we're going to be doing like a, an 18 inch proof research carbon fiber wrap barrel. I've got a 20 inch in this rifle already. Uh, I'm going to see if I can work a deal to go ahead and get the 18 inch. But if not, we'll go ahead and shoot with the 20 inch. Um, if they're, we're shooting anywhere from out to 500 yards at, uh, out there at the Griffin uh, Group training grounds, which is a beautiful training facility. But uh, yeah, the rifle ran great. The shotgun ran great. Um, I did have an issue where the uh, match saver had slid back, the shell casing slid back, and my ejected shells were jamming up into that thing instead of disappearing out. My fault. Um, and I would have beaten uh, Is Your Six Covered even worse. So he's lucky. Um, anyway, pistol. Ah, oh, Memorial 3 gun last year, my pistol turned into a uh, bolt action pistol where I was having to rack it every time with my reloads. And I couldn't figure out why. Um, I was using uh, Callaway Ballistics uh, 9mm 115 grain, also their 55 grain on just, you know, blasted stages where we had to shoot paper and that was it. Uh, but I tried it. I set up a deal where I had two mags with my reloads because I did test it out up in Pennsylvania. And then I did test it out down at the range down there with a, just a random draw of, of rounds. And it ran fine. So I was like, okay, we're going to take a risk. I filled two mags. You can hear my dog. Two mags with uh, my reloads and then two mags with the Callaways as backup, and they just ran fine. So when we had to do detailed shots where I knew accuracy mattered, I went ahead and ran my stuff. My kids are playing pool, and my dog is just d dying to get a ball from one of the pool, but I don't kill him. So anyway, a lot of fun. Uh, we do have some reviews coming out this week, and uh, we're going to jump all over those things. But with that being said, guys... Get on over to the Is Your Six Covers channel and check him out. If you haven't subscribed to him, please do. Uh, he does these live chats, and they're major, major longs. Absolutely crazy, but that's okay. Anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. I'm KB32, and I am out of here. Boom. Y'all be good.